What's going on, you guys? Moving Soul back again with the season two review of Stranger Things. And this season was just as good, if not better, in my opinion, than season one. Everything about this season was awesome. Uh, it's composed of nine episodes, uh, just one more than the first season. Uh, but that nine episodes is great because they don't squeeze too much story into it. And they don't do too fast pacing or too slow pacing. Like I said, the pacing is one of the biggest highlights of this series I can give. Uh, the pacing is just wonderful. It's not too fast or slow. It's just right. And that's a problem I see in a lot of TV shows and movies where they can never quite get the pacing right all the way. But this is pretty good for the most part. There is just one part I'll get into later. But other than that, I, it's really good. So basically the series talks uh, – this is kind of uh, – spoilers spoilerish a little bit not not for the season but if you haven't seen season one but um how it goes is will byers has been found and uh they're trying to basically deal with the outmath or out aftermath of what has happened when he was in the upside down world because he the upside down world came with him and it has not escaped and the whole season is dealing with how he's dealing with it and how the threat is is far from being gone uh, David Harbour, Winona Ryder, the roles as the chief and the mom, respectively, are really good, as always. Uh, she does the, uh, He does the perfect, uh, like I said, his story does continue, and he, uh, his story does continue into this. And like I said, the past of his does pull into this part of why he's so driven to help out. And the mom, like I said, she does good. Uh, being the distressed mom, she plays the part really good. The four boys, you can tell their friendship. It's really, it feels really natural, and it doesn't feel forced. Like they're they're nerds, of course, yeah, but like it feels natural, not forced, and that's always a good thing. Uh, they introduced two some new characters uh, in the form of this younger girl named Max. She joins the group. She's kind of standoffish at first, but uh, later on, they kind of uh, she does join the group, and she becomes basically a new friend. Um, and her older brother, Billy, which is, uh, he's a douchebag and you'll just see why you got to watch it. Um, uh, Eleven does return, not going to spoil that, but she does make her return. And, uh, of course, you know, she wasn't dead, but she does make her return and it's really cool how they, um, it's really cool how they, uh, turn that in, except there is one episode that I thought wasn't really needed in my opinion. It shows, it does good for her backstory, but it, it, it was just her in the episode and some other new people introduced, and I didn't really agree with the episode. It kind of felt out of place, and it didn't really need to be there. It could have just as easily been maybe explained very quickly. Uh, I didn't think a whole episode needed to be dedicated to it, but alas, there's nothing I could do about it. Uh, like I said, the atmosphere is good. Uh, oh, yeah, and one more – sorry, my bad. One more character they'd introduce is Joyce is dating this guy, Bob, uh, and they get into it more, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. Uh, they uh, The story, like I said, is good. They deal with the aftermath of this because the Upside Out, even though they got Will out, he's not completely out because part of the world followed him. and He's constantly uh, shifting between the Upside Down and the real world, and he never knows which one is real or which one he's in at any time. Um uh, Jonathan, of course, the older brother, and Nancy, Mike's uh, older sister, they return, and they also come in. And Steve, uh, Steve, I have to say, honestly, it, it's really cool to see how his character changed because in the first season, he was like a grade A asshole, and you'll have to watch it. But later on in the season, he's like a really cool dude. Like, um, His character does some really good developing, which I'm really glad because at the beginning season, you want to punch him in the face and just beat the shit out of him, but... He, he 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 does develop really nicely as a character, and he's one of my favorites now, I have to say, really. And it's very surprising. I never thought I would ever see myself liking this guy. Uh, like I said, um, yeah, you got the four, the four boys, Lucas, Mike, uh, Dustin, Will. Um, they, like I said, their relationship is good, and uh, I'm probably rehashing it. Let's see what else we can talk about. Um, there are more uh, – the the – the themes get you do learn more about this upside down world, which is awesome because in the first season you didn't quite learn that much, and they do open up more on this. And there is this massive antagonist that when he's on screen, he his presence is like you can feel it. It's like there's nothing you can do, and it's despair, and it's just so awesome to see that on screen. And 
like I said, I'm just gushing and I'm probably not even making any sense anymore, but this season was phenomenal. I, like I said, I booted this up after season one and I watched probably the whole thing in one day. Uh, it's just so good. It really is. The story is good. The pacing, the music atmosphere. I believe I said the same thing in the last uh, review, but uh, I just wanted to get my thoughts out because this is a series I, I'm liking. It's really good. And I cannot wait for season three, but uh, yeah, if I have my rating, five out of five stars, truly great. I liked it a lot um, besides that one little nitpick, but I can bypass it because it is still such a good series. And like I said, five out of five stars and pretty much I can't wait for season three, hopefully either later this year or next year. It'll be eight episodes all at once. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like it, comment if you want to, and I'll see you next one. Peace. Bye.